AFC East is obviously heating up. It's You understand it's the Buffalo Bills division, don't you, Connor? Yeah, I've said that before, but also in the same aspect, now we know our guy going into the whole season. It's not as if we have some sort of split locker room. So if everyone does buy into Mac, Bills have a tougher schedule than us because they got to play all the first-place teams in the AFC. So, I, you know, there's a chance, and hey, with that Bills team, you never know who's going to be available week in and week out with all these vaccine problems they have up there. <laughs> just saying, just saying, I hope everyone gets to play and no one gets COVID ever again. However, let's be real here, it might happen. Okay, so fascinating you said that because, yeah, um, yeah and here's the projected division outrights. It is the Bills division at minus 150. The Patriots are actually third in the – wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Gold. Free money I, right there. Spring can gold. I bet, Tone, can I bet that the Patriots end up at least in the top two Pat, in the AFC? On FanDuel, you can go and you can actually bet how you think each division is going to finish. So you can have you can bet if you think the Bills are going to finish first, you can go Bills, Patriots, Dolphins, Jets if you wanted to make that bet. And our guy, that's exactly the bet that I would like to make, actually, because it feels as if people are giving the Dolphins a lot of credit because last year they were able to win a bunch of games. That was when Fitzmagic was their starting quarterback and when Fitzmagic was coming in late to make plays. I'm not saying Tua isn't mightily better. He might be. I'm not sure. But they have had to come out publicly now and say, Tua's our guy. Tua's our guy. You don't ever have to say, Tua's our guy, unless there was called into question on whether or not he was your guy. Tua, for his, I mean... Wow, the Dolph and Gumpy's not here to talk about it, but the Dolphins just the Deshaun Watson news. Yeah, yeah, that they're still in business and that the owner, I guess, wants Deshaun Watson on the team. So what does that mean if you're Tua? Now this is grown men league. Okay, this is the men's league, so you have to kind of compartmentalize all the bullshit away and still go out and perform and do your job. But from the benching in the big moments last season to now them still having to fight off the fact that another guy might come in and be their quarterback, their owner allegedly wants another guy to be their quarterback, this has not been the best rollout for a young quarterback that's supposed to be the future of your franchise. And for that reason and that reason alone, I don't think the Dolphins are going to be worth a fuck. No. Now, they might be. I love b flow. Okay, I love the way the Dolphins uh, kind of did their thing last year. They cut a lot of players. Mm-hmm. It seems like they got a lot of drama over there. Yeah. They have to come out and talk about their quarterback being their quarterback. I just – that's not good to win football games. I don't think anytime there's drama, it's not good to win football games. It's hard enough to win football games in the NFL, let alone when you got to deal with that type of shit. So Tua might be mentally tougher than all of us, and he might be able to just say, like, yeah, I love this place, and yeah, I want to continue to be great. But I think that all buys into it a bit. I, I still see it as Bills, Patriots – Whoa. I don't know Whoa. at the bottom of that. I agree. Hey, Zach Wilson's a fucking player, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And Bob Sala, by all accounts, is a great defensive coach, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, the Dolphins being number two at the odds is crazy to me, personally. That is just insane to me, insane to land. Uh, but I still, everybody believes that this is the Bills to lose and I, I assume that's the right way to view this whole thing even if you're a fucking blind I love Patriots guy 